As far as the origins go, the party line will always be, we don't fully know, but I think we're getting closer and closer. So for example, we know that there's some genetic aspect to it. Um, so they, ticks tend to run in families, although you might not always see it in like the parent um, or the other siblings. Um, and they also tend to run along with OCD, for example. So a lot of times people who have Tourette syndrome um, might have a family member with OCD and vice versa. Um, and so there's some genetic component, but a single gene has not been identified. And then more and more work is being done on kind of, well, other environmental contributions as well. And that's something that still needs to be explored. But I do think we've gotten a lot better understanding of the underlying circuitry in the brain that probably leads to or contributes to ticks and it's a pretty complex circuit that's involved ev everywhere from the cortex so you know the kind of like top area of the brain all the way down to the, the deeper areas called the basal ganglia.